Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating this kind of colourful, watercolour inspired makeup look that I've got on. It was quite simple and kind of quick to do as well, so if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. Okay, so I've got my skin prepped, I've got foundation and my brows done, and I'm just going to jump straight into the eye. So sorry about those birds outside, there's really, there's nothing I can do. I live in a rainforest, I've accepted that fact. Um, I'm just grabbing this, this little palette here, which is pretty much a rip off of the Makeup Forever Flash palette, I think it's called. Um, same, some, like similar kind of colours, does the same thing. Obviously not as good as the Makeup Forever one, but gives the same kind of colour. Um, but I'm just gonna grab this colour here and then mix it with the white and the green, I think. So I'm wanting to create this kind of sea foam green colour and that's just going to be the first colour that I'm going to put all over the lid. I'm just going to set that with uh, a white colour from the James Charles X Morphe palette just because it is a cream and I don't want it to kind of move everywhere. And then I'm just taking this kind of bright pink blush, and this is called Pink Swoon from MAC, and I'm just kind of putting that all in the crease. Like blending the two colours a tiny bit, but not so much. I still want there to be a bit of a separation between the two. And I'm kind of really just bringing it up quite high, like all the way up to the brown bone. And then coming back into the James Charles palette, I'm going to kind of just dip into this like light blue shimmer and just mix it with a little bit of the white and kind of put that on the inner corner. Might put the blue down first. Oh, it's kind of nice on its, maybe just go, just go on with the, the blue. And then for the bottom lash line, I'm going to kind of go with this really amazing orange color and then maybe a little bit of these two kind of yellow colors. So just mixing those two and then kind of popping that on the bottom lash line. I'm not worrying if it's coming out quite low just cause that's kind of the vibe of the look. These goddamn birds, I swear. Like I'm this close to buying a BB gun and just like Cool. And then I'm going to take that orange colour, just on the same brush. Sir, please. Two minutes. And then just with the orange colour on the bottom lash line. Just a fluffy brush for the orange. I'm kind of bringing it down onto the cheek, so it's going to be a bit of a high blush moment as well. I'm thinking it would be quite cool as well if I put just the tiniest bit of a blue, kind of like bluey purple colour just in this little area here. So I'm going to grab from the James Charles palette, just a little bit on the outer corner. I'm going to take um, the orange colour just on this slightly bigger brush, just because I kind of want to bring it down onto the cheek a bit. So I'm kind of just going to touch it there and then drag it down. I'm going to mix this with the blush that we use as well. I'm just going to kind of come back in with that more seafoam colour and just press that on the centre of the lid so that we haven't kind of lost the brightness of that. here and do mascara but I do want to do like a little bit of a flick only really on the outer corner of the eye so I'm just going to use the just the Stila stay all day but the micro tip so it's like a really skinny little one so it's just like a little kind of half wing
All right, little wing on. Okay, now for the blush. I'm gonna just jump back into the, sorry, this is so dirty, but I'm just gonna jump back into that palette and grab like this really kind of peachy color. And like I said, I want it to kind of connect to the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do quite a high cheek moment. So like coming all the way up here. I'm just kind of building it until it's at the color that I want. And then once we've got that color on, I'm just gonna come in with Modern Mandarin from MAC, which is quite similar to the, the peachy cream color that I used, but I'm just gonna press that over to kind of set it. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take this one from MAC, it's called Show Gold, and putting that on the top. It gives a kind of pink glow to it. I forgot to put mascara on. Eyes are finished. No, they're not. Curl your lashes and mascara. So I'm putting on quite a bit of mascara just because I want it to be a bit more of like a spidery lash look. For powder, I'm just gonna put on uh, Next to Nothing by MAC and this is in the color Medium. So I'm really just gonna press this in here because I still want all of this kind of glow over here but just I don't want it directly under the eye. So for lips, I want to keep it super simple so I'm just grabbing this lip liner it's an old one from Essence. It's called number 11 in the nude and it's just really similar to my natural lip color. So just really lightly going over any areas that are a little bit more pale. And then for the lip, I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Alright, and that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this watercolor inspired colorful eye. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you in the next video.